everyone! So recently, I've been breaking out. So ang dami kong pimple ngayon. So one of the things that I wanted to do was really consult with my dermatologist. But because of the lockdown, because of the ECQ, GCQ, I haven't really been able to go. No? So one of the, well, today I invited my dear friend, Doc Gail Robredo Vitas, to give us like some tips on how to uh, do our skincare routine here at home, especially when we're when we are working busy working women. No? So hi, Doc Gail, how are you? Hi, hi, Ginger. <laughs> okay, naman, I'm good. Like then, you, I've also experienced some skin issues. So hindi kami ano um, save mga derma, kasi syempre, we're all undergoing the same things, and it's really different. Iba talaga tong ECQ na to. It's a first for everyone. Yeah, oh eh. And and before this doc no, when when this happened, my perception was, wow, finally no, I can actually do like uh, my skincare routine and then I'm inside the house so wala naman like sunlight, so wala akong mag kasi my problem before was really like dark spots lang no. So sabi ko, okay, so wala nang ganung classing problem. But then, yun nga, I started like breaking out, may mga pimples ako, hindi talaga ako nag-makeup para makita niyo. <laughs> so <laughs> nag-break out ako, but but nag obviously ah uh, lipstick, nag-lipstick naman. So, but like yung in terms of like wala namang dark spots. I mean, mas okay na ngayon. But but then again, like pimples, 'di ba? So, what's happening? Baka you can give us like a clue on what's happening right now. Yeah, actually, you're not the only one, Ginger. In fact, during the lockdown, um, a lot of my patients have been texting me na parang, Dok, ano nangyayari? Parang, wala lang akong sun exposure, hindi na ako exposed sa mga elements, walang pollution, hindi ako nagko-commute. And yet, I'm breaking out. So, what's going on? Um, mm -hmm. Apart from yung usual kasi natin na day-to-day -day experiences, there are other things that um, also might have influence or might influence our, our skin. So, number one is stress. Siyempre, aminin naman natin o sa hindi, because of this ECQ na nabago ang lahat, there's uncertainty, hindi natin alam what to expect. Siyempre, yung stress, andyan talaga yan. And ako, feeling ko, kahit pa i-deny ng mga tao, lahat tayo naka-experience ng kahit konting stress. And the stress that we experience in our body, siyempre, meron siya mga effects. It releases mga reactive oxygen species, what not. Hindi na, we will not dwell on that. But this stress can affect our body and also our skin. Okay. Apart from stress, siyempre, um, ewan ko, pero ako kasi na-affect talaga yung diet ko. Siyempre, because of the ECQ, it's very easy to reach out um, dun sa mga junk food na available there, yung mga canned food, uh, chips. Ako, weakness ko talaga yan eh. Chips, chocolates. And syempre, hindi siya masyadong healthy. I guess it's okay once in a while to indulge. Pero meron kasing time na parang halos araw-araw nag-chips ako, ganyan. And sabi kasi nila, um, diet daw high in mga um, simple sugars, refined sugars, can actually exacerbate existing inflammatory lesions, including your acne. And dairy, mga high in dairy na food, and yung mga food high in omega-6, like your fried food, oily food, ganyan. So yun, kung meron ka ng pimple dati pa, and you take these kinds of food, pwedeng lumala. Oh, and then, of course, Number three reason, yung mga mahilig dyan mag-Netflix. Ikaw, Ginger, yes. I'm sure, <laughs> Actually, so, next uh, question ko, yung, uh, ano ba yung exposure to like this one, like uh, digital gadgets, mga gadgets. Yeah. Oh, yun. Other than, yun, yun, we'll go to that later. Pero, I'm sure ikaw nagpupuyat ka din. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> so, yun. Lack of sleep, lack of restful and adequate sleep. Kasi, it, it affects our skin. Kasi when we sleep, dun tayo nagre-repair. So, very important to get at least seven hours of sleep. Kasi kumbaga sa computer, ito yung reboot. Ito yeah. yung reboot. So, it's not just for our skin, but for, for our whole body as well. Sabi nga nila, di ba, pag kulang yung tulog mo, yung memory mo affected, medyo cloudy yung ano mo, yung, yung mga um, na naalala mo from the previous days. Yeah. Eh, dahil sa Netflix, minsan, alas stress na, alas quatro, oh, may araw na, nanonood pa rin tayo ng series, and nag-guilty ako niya ng mga first few weeks, pero buti na lang nakapag-adjust ako. 
And then lastly, one of the reasons din is because yun na nga, feeling mo, hindi ka nag-makeup, hindi ka lumalabas, nakakalimutan mo gawin ngayon yung recommended skincare routine. Okay. And you mentioned yung exposure natin sa light from the gadget. Um, a lot of people since the ECQ have stopped applying sunscreen. Yes. And diba, iisipin mo parang nasa loob naman ako ng bahay eh. Ba't ko pa kailangan mag-sunscreen? But the fact is, even when you're inside, if you are still exposed to the outside light by your window, hindi ka pa rin protected. Kasi yung window glass natin, ang binablock lang niya, yung UVB rays. So yung UVB rays, yun yung nakakaitim. So kung nasa loob ka ng bahay, okay, you won't get dark or you won't get as dark. But the UV rays, which causes aging, nagpa-penetrate pa din siya. So, alimbawa, ikaw dyan dyan, nakikita ko, parang maliwanag dyan sa, yes. sa lugar ko ngayon, ha? Oh. Nakasunblock ka ba? Yun nga, eh. Actually, nakakalimutan ko. Before, very, ano ako, very diligent when I go out of the house, I really put, like, sunblock and sunscreen na sa face. Pero since, yun nga, yung perception ko kasi, nandito lang naman ako sa bahay, bakit pa ako maglalagay? So, it's good na pinaliwanag niyo, Doc, na talagang we need to know. Yeah. Yeah. And apart from UVA, kasi sabihin mo naman, eh, nasa condo lang naman ako, Doc. Wala naman akong window, so ba't ko pa rin kailangan mag-sunscreen? Um, more recent research, kasi nung mga unang panahon, wala pa naman tayong tablet, cellphone, laptop. And would you believe na sunscreens were only invented in the 1930s to 1940s? So, fairly new pa rin yung sunscreen eh. Before, hindi nila alam na nakakasama pala sa balat yung UV rays. Okay. But only recently did they find out na yung blue light, which is the light that is emitted by our gadgets, our phones, our laptops, um, prolonged exposure to this blue light can contribute um, not only to skin darkening, but also aging, um, sunspots, kahit hindi galing sa sun. Oh. And sabi nila, this blue light daw, although not as powerful as your UV rays, um, kung the whole day ka naman exposed, di ba? Yeah. So parang, Lahat tayo, I'm sure, nasa cellphone, Zoom meetings, tablet, ganyan. Um, it penetrates deeper sa skin natin. And most of us are exposed to that for mga 8 hours a day, di ba? So, if you add them all up, yung cumulative damage na nakikreate nitong UV, uh, blue light na to, can also um, cause changes in our skin. Eh, lalo pa naman. So, yun, 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 Kasi like before, pag nasa office, you can have like meetings not in front of the computer. Pero ngayon, kasi you don't have a choice kasi sunod-sunod yung meetings mo and you're always on your laptop. So, yeah. So, very important pala yun, no? Um, So, lahat ba ng... Okay, let's go muna to... Like, let's go muna to the skincare routine, no? So, what do you advise that I do at this uh, point in time, no? I am sure a lot of women would want to hear this as well. And even men, no? Mm-mm. So actually, um, meron akong parang tinatawag natin na um, skin essentials. Or, kasi syempre, ako, I know that a lot of people don't really have time or patience to do the 10-step routine, di ba yung mga ganon. I mean, ang sorry mo na lang if you have the luxury of time to actually do the 10 steps. Pero, ikaw, Ginger, ala, pag may anak ka, ma- medyo mahirap yan, di ba? Kasi, mami, mami, ang daming kailangan. So, for me, um, it's not naman that important for you to do the 10 steps. Um, yeah. But what you have to remember lang are the essentials. So, very first essential would be proper cleansing. So, iniisip ng iba, nasa loob lang naman ako eh. I'm not, I'm not outside. I'm not exposed. But you have to understand that you still accumulate dead cells and syempre yung dust and your skin still produce oil. Kailangan mo pa rin siyang tanggalin. Okay. Through proper cleansing. Kasi if not, pag naipon yung dead skin cells mo, your oil or debris, it can clog your pores and cause dull skin. Or dun sa mga oily, pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng comedones that can eventually lead to breakout. Yeah. What's important to remember lang is that when cleansing, you should opt for cleansers that protect your skin while cleaning. So ano ba yung mga yon? Yung mga tinatawag natin na mild and soap-free cleansers. So anything na pag ginamit mo sa mukha mo yung parang banat na banat yung face mo, oh. those are not soap-free. And you should steer clear um, of that unless maduming-madumi talaga yung mukha mo. Okay. okay. Unless so, makeup ka, parang ganon, super makeup. Oh, yung, 
or parang dumihan kayo iba, di ba, nag-gardening, sports, ganyan. So, only then do I recommend that maybe you use a um, soap-based cleansers kasi you really want to remove the dirt. But even with makeup, uh, meron tayong mga recommended na um, makeup. Kasi pag makeup, araw-araw, di ba, imagine, tinatanggal mo siya araw-araw. Meron din mga makeup removers that are actually um, mild and gentle, gentle on your skin. Halimbawa, yung mga micellar cleansers, yeah. um, yung mga balm emulsions. So, pwede yun. So, okay. that's number one. Um, especially yung mga nag-workout dyan, di ba? Ngayon, uuso yung mga home workout. Yeah. Kasi, <laughs> eh. pinagpapawisan ka, kailangan mo rin siyang linisin. Um, number two that I recommend is to exfoliate. So, especially dun sa mga um, age natin, di ko na i-mention kung ano age. Yeah. Kasi, as we get older, yung skin turnover natin o yung pagpalit ng balat natin, hindi na siya ganun ka-efficient. So, kung i-compare mo yung skin mo dun sa mga anak mo, di ba ang flawless, wala silang oh. pores, glowing, uh, smooth. Pero as we get older, nagsaslow down na yung process and it's not that efficient. So, kung hindi tayo nag-exfoliate, your dead skin cells can accumulate, giving you that dull, lackluster skin. Mm-hmm. And can eventually also, lalo na yung mga acne prone, mag-lead to breakouts and comedones. So, how to exfoliate? Um, you can choose from um, one of two. So, pwede physical exfoliation, meaning using mga scrubs that are gentle on your skin. Okay. And yung iba yung mga ano, di ba yung nabibili sa ano na parang yes, um, machine? Know. Yes. Ay, pwede din yun. Or you may opt to do yung chemical exfoliation by using your alpha hydroxy acids, your um, toners with uh, salicylic, ganyan. Pwede din yun. Uh, yun actually, ako ay I mix it. Huh? Is it safe ba yung mga ganyan na chemical pagka like sensitive skin? Like ako kasi I have like sensitive skin. Pwede naman siya. Yeah, okay naman siya. My advice lang is that you don't do it siguro every day. Um, it depends din sa concentration. Kasi over the counter, you might find as high as 10% or 8% ng mga alpha hydroxy acids or, or mga beta hydroxy acids. I recommend that when you buy one, siguro try mo muna on like yung part ng face mo na hindi kita like here. Okay. And then you observe. Okay. And maybe start your application um, maybe two to three times a week muna. And then you gradually build up until tolerated. Okay. Meron din kasi na bibiling mga um, toners with higher concentration. So that one you don't have to use every day. Ako meron akong ginagamit na I think 12%. I only use it two to three times a week. Parang okay. Sige, sige. I'll be. I'll take note of that. Because I'm sure a lot of women like ah, ito yung nakikita ko sa YouTube na AHA, BHA. But we don't really look at the concentration, <laughs> de ba? So sige, yeah. lang namin sa face. Okay, sige. Exfoliation oh. and that. And then of course your sunscreen. So yon. Pag-usapan na natin ng konte ko ano yung sunscreen. What's important lang um to look for when you buy your sunscreen. Kasi di ba tiyatong nila, Dok, ano ba yung the best na sunscreen? Oh. I always tell my patients, the best sunscreen is the one that you will use. Kasi it doesn't matter, bili ka ng pinakamaganda, hindi mo lang ginagamit, so useless, di ba? But what ingredients should you look for when buying sunscreen? Well, first, you have to um, look at yung protection power niya. So, Usually, I'm sure lahat ng mga tao pag bumibili ng sunscreen, unang tinitinan, SPF, di ba? Yes. So, SPF actually stands for Sun Protection Factor, which measures your, or the sunscreen protect, sunscreen's protection against UVB. Okay. So, um, wala pang globally uh, or internationally recognized na measurement for UVA protection. Although, some Japanese and Korean products may ginagamit sila yung tinatawag na PA. Yes. And it usually plus one to plus four. Okay. Um, it protects, it, it measures protection against UVA. So, when it comes to SPF, we recommend at least 30, SPF 30, okay. which blocks about 97% of the sun's rays. While yung PA rating naman, we recommend at least two. So, okay. yun. If wala kang makita ng PA or hindi ka sure, just look for the words broad spectrum. Kasi okay. European and um, US products, hindi pa nila ginagamit yung PA. Okay. And depending on your activities, for example, pawisin ka or ano ka talaga, you're engaged in sports, <clears throat> it would help to look for sunscreens that say water-resistant. 
Okay. And then, um, another thing, yung misconception, usually people feel na parang when they buy higher SPF, like mga 110, ganyan, <laughs> they feel that they are protected the whole day. But sa totoo lang, yung sunscreen mo, regardless of SPF, they all last on your skin for about two hours. So, yeah. Naalala ko si mo yan sa akin eh. Yeah. When oh. I went to Doc Gail before kasi nag-uusap kami about like sunscreen. Tapos sinabi niya, hindi, dapat mag-apply ka talaga every two hours. So, naging super diligent ako until today. <laughs> until today. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then, apart from that, it's also important to apply the right amount. Kasi, <laughs> Um, if you Google it, pag ginugle mo, ilalag sabihin sa'yo, you should apply 2 grams per 2 square centimeters of skin, which approximately translates to about one-third teaspoon for the whole face. So, di ba ang dami? Parang, oh my God, parang ang kapal na ng face mo nun. So, sa babae, actually, madali lang to. Kasi what I do, I layer. So, meron akong moisturizer or primer with SPF. Uh-huh. And then, meron akong foundation with SPF. And then, meron pa akong sunscreen. Okay. Um, but hindi ibig sabihin, nagtototal siya. Hindi ibig sabihin pag meron kang moisturizer na 30 plus 30. Hindi. So, for example, if you have moisturizer na 30, then foundation na 45, then sunscreen na 50, 50 lang yon. It doesn't mean that it adds up. But putting that much layer assures na you're putting enough. Yun lang. Sa mga lalaki, syempre, alam ng mga <laughs> Ang dami mong nilalagay. So, normally for men, I recommend a higher SPF. Okay. So that even if you don't put enough, for example, SPF 110, tapos ang nilagay mo, ganito lang. Oo. At least you're still getting 30. Parang ganun. Oh, so, parang coverage. Parang ganun yan, no? yung layering. Basically, like mm-hmm. coverage of the skin. No? Parang ganun. Oo. Tapos oh. yun, kasi it's hard din naman to estimate, di ba? So, I just tell them, basta you feel and you know that there is sunscreen on your face, mm-hmm. okay na rin naman yun. And for women, I recommend you bring yung compact with SPF. Yeah. Kasi pag may makeup na, di ba? Parang, doon ka lang naman ilagay ko ulit yung sunscreen ko, ay naka-makeup na ako. Yeah, so, oo. Oh, oh. compact, pwede mo pang retouch. So, that's what I actually do when I challenge them. So, may ma-compact naman na may ganun siya, may UVB and UVB protection. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, ano na y- so, Doc, like, in terms of, like, the products that we use, no? Um, mm-hmm. kasi right now, syempre, wala namang kaming, like, access to, like, uh, derma na pwede namin puntahan right now. So, ano yung mga, in terms of ingredients, meron ba dyan that go against the other? Like, kunwari, ito, this doesn't work with this ingredient. So, mamaya kasi gumamit sila, let's say, na moisturizer. And then, yung pala may ingredient doon na hindi swak sa, sa, let's say, sunscreen nila. So, lalong nag-break out. So, meron bang ganon? Yeah. Yung essential number four pala, good thing you mentioned, Oo. is applying moisturizer with ingredients that um, respond to your needs. So, uh, good thing natanong mo din. Marami misconceptions actually. And nagugulat ako when people say na parang, oh, Doc, bawal daw yung glycolic with retinol, <laughs> bawal yung vitamin C with ganyan. Yes. Um, actually, uh, when it comes to moisturizers, um, iba-iba yan eh. Uh, it depends on what you need. Like, for example, ako, when, siguro, um, our age, hindi ko na rin sasabihin, uh. we, we actually uh, would benefit from retinoids. So, yung retinoids, ano yan eh, um, it's a parang category of uh, medicine. Okay. Uh, under dito, yung tretinoin, retinol, retinaldehyde. So, ito, itong uh, gamot na to, um, specifically tretinoin, was initially used for acne. That's okay. why pag bumibili ka ng prescription, it's, pre- it's, a, it's a prescription drug na binibigay ng mga doctors and dermatologists for, for individuals with acne. Okay. And then nakita nila parang, oy bakit gumaganda yung balat nitong mga acne patients na to? Nawawala okay. yung fine lines, pigmentation, ganyan. And then, that's when they studied it as an anti-aging ingredient. And they discovered na, oy super okay pala siya. Apart from um, being a uh, you know, anti-acne, madami pala siyang benefits anti-aging. It um, slows down collagen degradation, it improves pigmentation, it stimulates collagen and, and elastin production. Okay. Kaya lang, it's irritating. Oh, oh. Uh, but retinol, yeah, it's very irritating. That's why it's a prescription drug also. Kasi ano ito yung mahagi eh. Pag hindi yeah. yung ginawang tama, parang namumula yung face mo ako, namumula yung face ko, parang ganun. 
Yun. So, yung, yung treti noon, actually, pag nilagay mo siya sa face mo araw-araw agad, mm-hmm. there's a high chance that you will get um, irritation, itchiness, redness. Mm-hmm. That's why yung treti noon, when we prescribe it to patients, we advise that they start slow, like twice a week muna, mm-hmm. for one week, and then every other day. Pwede mong patungan ng moisturizer. And then, pag naka-adjust ka na, you can start applying it every night. Oh. And, bakit every night? So, gabi lang siya. Bakit gabi lang siya? Kasi, um, another misconception, um, yung tretinoin daw, nakaka-burn pag nagpa-araw ka. Actually, the reason why we prescribe tretinoin to be used at night yeah. is not because mababurn ka pag ginamit mo in the morning, okay. but because tretinoin is deactivated by sunlight. So, sayang. Oh, okay. Hindi so, siya nag-work. Oh, okay. parang wala. That's why yung mga tretinoin, if you look at them, they are put in a, an opaque container. Mm-hmm. So, either tube siya, hindi siya clear. Kasi, yeah. pag nasa clear siya nalalagyan, tapos naarawan siya, well, madideactivate siya. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. So, yun yung isang ingredient. Yes. Uh, and then, yung tretinoin um, cannot be used with benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl. Because, okay. yun, okay. madideactivate diba? siya. Oh yeah. So benzoyl peroxide is an antimicrobial, antibacterial, and keratolytic. So usually, we prescribe it to patients with pimples, mm-hmm. and it cannot be combined with tretinoin. So yon, yun yung mga isa sa mga hindi pa dey combine. Okay. okay. Ngayon, um, since yung tretinoin nga is a prescription drug and it's irritating, although very very good at anti aging. Merong a cer- certain population who cannot tolerate. Isa na ako doon. Um, ang kaya ko lang is 0.25, 0.025%. Anything over that, talagang nag-hellboy na ako, pulang-pula yung mukha ko. So, they com- came out with other retinoids that are more tolerable. Like yung retinol, okay. retinal behind. Meron pa nga mga bago eh. Pero I won't mention it na kasi hahaba na masyado. But okay. retinol and retinal behind, are retinoids also, but are milder than tretinoin. And these are over-the-counter. So, pwede mo silang bilhin over-the-counter. Nag-work naman sila, but it takes longer compared to tretinoin. But because they are less irritating, mas preferred sila ng mga patients, especially those with sensitive skin like you. Yeah. So, maraming products out there na nag-offer ng retinol. Kailangan mo lang basahin yung concentration. And of course, since it's also a retinoid, hindi mo rin siya pwedeng bigla-biglain. Kailangan gradual pa rin. Twice a week, then every other day, then every mm-hmm. night. Okay. What, what are your thoughts, Doc, sa ano, mga facial masks? Kasi I'm sure, like, yung mga tao ngayon, like, ah, gusto ko mag-distress, so I will buy, like, facial masks. So, meron bang mga don'ts, do's and don'ts when it comes to buying facial masks? Okay, you're talking about yung sheet masks, no? Yeah, yung, yeah. Uh, yung mga bilibili, yes. Oo. So, yung sheet masks, they are meant to hydrate. Um, usually, depending on the type that you buy, they contain a concentrated form of certain ingredients. Usually, mm-hmm. nakikita ko dyan, hyaluronic acid, whitening, ganyan. Okay naman siya. Um, especially for those with dry skin. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's, ano, occlusive. So, talagang pag nilagay mo dyan, pagtanggal mo talagang, wow, hydrated na hydrated yung skin mo, moisturized ka. Kaya lang, yung mga patients with oily and acne-prone skin, when you do it too often, like every day or even every other day, you run the risk of um, clogging your pores and causing breakout. So, okay naman siya. Like, kung dry skin ka, maybe every other day or two to three times a week is okay. Pero pag oily skin ka, medyo ingat lang ng konti. Kasi, Pwede kang magkaroon ng breakout. Got it. Tapos ito pa, isa pa. Um, marami ako ngayon parang, um, what do you call that? Like, nagka-clog yung mga blackheads. Yun, sorry. Blackheads and whiteheads sa ilong. Yes. So, what can we do? Eh, eh parang natatakot naman ako bumili. Although before, nung medyo bata-bata ako, nilalagyan ko pa yan nung... nung yung, yes, yes, for strip. Yung mga ganyan. So, pero right now, kasi parang iniisip ko, baka it will just do me more harm than good. So, what can I do para matanggal siya right now? Ayoko namang kutkutin kasi, syempre. Oh, wag, wag. Wag, diba? So, retinoids, like your tretinol and your retinol, can sort of minimize formation of blackheads and whiteheads. So, you should be applying that. Number two, exfoliation. 
So, ako, yung ginagawa ko, kasi ako nagbe-build up din ako niyan eh. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this exfoliant, that, a physical exfoliant that I use. It's made of magnesium crystals. Medyo rough siya, but okay. very fine. So, I gently uh, use that to um, exfoliate my nose. After that, medyo natatanggal, natatanggal din siya. Talaga? When it comes to pore strips, um, uh, I used to do that also. Lahat yata tayo pinagdaan natin yan. <laughs> the problem lang with pore strips is that strip din niya yung skin mo. So, uh-huh. just be careful. Um, I find that patients with oily skin are more tolerant mm-hmm. sa mga strips. Walang nangyayari sa kanilang masyadong damage. But ako, when I, when my skin started becoming dry, mm-hmm. when I would use the pore strip, nai-irritate talaga siya kasi parang tinanggal mo din yung um, stratum corneum mo. So, if you do that in case you want to do the pore strips, moisturize mo na lang after to replenish the barrier. Oo. Oh, oh. naman. Kasi usually dito din ako nagda-dry eh. Yung sa gilid, yung nose, dyan yung dry skin usually. So, oh, sige. Yeah. So, final tip na lang siguro, Doc, na for for people who want to maintain healthy skin, but who are so busy, no? Kasi malamang most of my audience din yan. They're working from home. They're super busy. They don't know what to buy. And like, just give it to me and then yun na yung gagawin ko. Like, I don't wanna think about it. So, ano yung mga tips that you can give them? Um, actually, first of all, uh, listen to your skin. Kasi I can give naman a lot of advice, pero iba-iba kasi talaga tayo eh. And there are a lot of great products out there. Some will work for you, some don't. So it's important to identify yung needs mo and what skin type you have. Mm-hmm. And to try to find the product that works for you. Yun talaga yun eh. And um, ang pinaka-importante talaga is proper cleansing and exfoliation applying sunscreen and especially for our age kailangan na talaga natin ng moisturizers with ingredients that address our our concerns like ako may pigmentation ako hindi mo lang nakikita kasi nag foundation ako <laughs> ang ganda nga ng skin mo meron eh so now i have a tinted moisturizer okay. but i do have pigmentation here so i'm using vitamin C um retinol so yung mga you have to find it's also best to consult with a dermatologist just mm-hmm. to, to know your baseline and then yon wag niyo kalimutan yung um skin regimen i know minsan nakakatamad talaga and it's not just that um, i always say that um having good skin is from inside and out so pwedeng ang dami mong nilalagay diyan pero unhealthy ka naman yung food mo pinapabaya mo hindi ka natutulog so it's kailangan holistic and whatever kasi um that you do to your body gets reflected on your skin it's the largest organ of the body it's our barrier protection from everything else so however you treat yourself your body it will reflect on your skin so yun lang yun lang yung ma-advise doc sorry hirap oh, yeah that's true ang hirap gawin pero sige yeah, we will try that may isa pa akong question na naisip ko lang right now ang co- ang coffee ba okay. Nakaka- <laughs> nakakasama ba sa skin ng coffee? Ang coffee, like drinking coffee. Actually, hindi naman. Caffeine um, has a lot of benefits. Uh, okay. It improves circulation. Um, it keeps you awake. But just like with anything else, um, too much of a good thing can okay. be bad. So, yung sinasabi namin lagi, especially with coffee, and it's not just coffee. If you're a tea drinker din, may caffeine din yon. So, Try to limit your coffee intake to siguro mga two to three shots of espresso a day. Okay. Um, that should be enough. Um, anything more kasi can cause palpitations, mga ganon. So, mm-hmm. coffee in moderation, caffeine in general in moderation is not bad. It's good naman. Okay. Kasi marami na Coffee ngayon. drinker ka ba? Malakas ka oh, ba mag coffee? Malakas ako magkape, Doc. So, I think yun yun. Like, um, I can take like five to six cups a day. Oh my God, mag-decaf ka na. Kasi yung decaf, hindi naman talaga siya 100% decaf eh. They still contain some caffeine. Kasi it dehydrates you din eh. Maybe so, that. So, oh, matutuyo, matutuyoan ka din. Kaya nag-dry din at some parts of my skin. Yes, it's parang the overall. Yung sinasabi mo, it's good to know. Stop, grabe ka. <laughs> parang hindi na ako natutulog. Tama din yun. Enough sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Enough sleep is good for you. Ayan. Sige. So, Doc, is your like clinic of uh, open already? And where can they get hold of you? No? If they want like, consultation, advice, kahit pa paano, or online consultation, meron bang ganon right now? Yeah, well, um, I think most of the board-certified dermatologists, they opened um, when the ECQ became 
MECQ mm-hmm. kasi we're actually allowed naman to to open to attend to emergency skin conditions ganyan mm-hmm. and i do believe that um a lot of doctors are now online okay. but my clinic now um we're trying to do monday to saturday 11 to 4 but it's strictly by appointment kasi you know we want to maintain social distancing ayun natin magsabay-sabay yung mga pasyente um, yon and we've also uh, employed a lot of measures like acrylic barriers, UV lamps, air purifiers, um, alcohol dispensers, and our staff is on isolation gown. Yun. Ito na yung new normal. Yes, okay. true. So yon, uh, Ginger, magpa-plug lang ako, okay? Lang. Yes, please, yes, I please. I invite um, everyone to um, maybe visit my YouTube channel. It's Dr. Gator Bedovitas. Um, Ano ko to, uh, naging bagong hobby ko. Uh, I started making videos on different skin issues like um, acne scars, pigmentation, and I'm really open to topic suggestions kasi mahirap pala mag-isip ng pag-uusapan. Yes. So if you yeah. have suggestions, I also have an Instagram page. It's called um, Irene Gale. So I'm, I'm also open to whatever you want to learn about skin. Kasi minsan, di ba, feeling ko alam na hindi pa pala or gustong malaman. So yun, I'm inviting everyone to check it out. Thank you, Doc Gail. I'm sure, ano, ang dami, ang dami kasi, di ba? Like, now that I'm thinking about it, if we just have time, no, like, the whole day to talk about things with regard to skin, ang dami namin pwedeng itanong sa inyo that maybe, no, like, for a derma, that's something that you always kasi uh, encounter yeah. or, like, think about. But sa amin kasi, like, it only happens, like, oh, Doc, paano to? Like, this is what's happening right now. It's not like a common occurrence sa amin, no? Or even when we come across certain products and feeling namin like, oh, this is something new. Let me try. Diba yung pala harmful sa skin namin and all of these things. So, sige. Well, um, if you have questions for Doc Gale, no? So, leave it in the comment section below. So, there. Thank you so much for guesting and yeah, for, for giving us advice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, yeah, sana uh, umokay na yung pimple, yung aking pimply skin now. So, if you like this, ano yun? Sorry, no? Sunscreen ka. Oo nga, yes. I will continue that already. Nakalimutan ko na talaga, totally yun. Okay, so, if you like this video, can you like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more uh, videos. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye.